Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel where we discover, discuss, and sometimes dismiss fragrances. But in today's video we're going to discover a perfume from the house of Chanel. And this one is Coco Mademoiselle Lil Privé. So if you're interested to know my thoughts on this perfume, just stay tuned. So here I am with my first purchase from the house of Chanel. Chanel is usually out of my budget when it comes to their clothing, purses, shoes. I'm not going to say shoes because maybe I can do the shoes, but honey, the way that my budget is set up, I can't afford Chanel. But right now, keep creating videos so maybe one day I can actually afford me a Chanel bag. But right now, honey, no ma'am. Well, I'll just say I am moving on up when it comes to Chanel and I am ready to spill this tea. So let's get into this bottle absolutely stunning what this is you guys is a nighttime perfume specifically designed for bedtime wear before i went into chanel i will admit i didn't know that this was a nighttime fragrance this is the first chanel coco perfume that i actually like at first sniff i cannot get into number five low low i did try chanel low that again was not my cup of tea it's too aldehydic but when it comes down to this one honey so once i got inside and i actually spotted the bottle i went ahead and I picked it up and I commenced to spraying one spray on my hand. I usually don't test perfumes on my hand but honey I said I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spray. Irregardless to what it smells like if I don't like it I'm gonna be stuck with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spray as I did when I was at Macy's. That atomizer is really, really nice on this bottle. And usually Chanel perfumes bottles do spray out good like that because all the ones I have tried and tested, they usually have a very good atomizer on them. Honey, if that atomizer ain't good, you may want to check and make sure it's an authentic bottle. That is a number one dead giveaway of, of a perfume not being authentic is if the sprayer is like really, really janky. Proceed with caution because it may not be a real bottle. It smells fresh, citrusy, rosy jasmine. It smells absolutely amazing. To my surprise, I actually liked this when I first sprayed it. So I actually went ahead and I purchased the full bottle. On my way home, I kept smelling my hand. I was just in absolute awe. I love the perfume. I finally found a bottle of Chanel perfume that I really, really like. I actually do like Chanel Chance Au Tendre. I really like that one, the Eau de Toilette, but I have not pulled the trigger and bought it. I wanted to actually try the Coco Mademoiselle line. Now, don't get me wrong, Coco Mademoiselle is okay. I really want to only get perfumes that I am loving. So I didn't love the Coco Mademoiselle. What's it bad and it's so popular anybody that wears it you can definitely tell that they're wearing Coco Mademoiselle so I want to kind of steer away from that and I didn't love it so that's why I have not purchased it I got home I could not wait to get into the shower and get ready for bed because honey I was spraying my Le Privé before I went to bed being that it is a nighttime bedtime fragrance so I scrubbed my body and I took my shower and I sprayed one in the front and I sprayed one in the back and I put on my robe and I got cozy into my bed honey I couldn't wait for my husband to get in the bed so he can tell me what he thought about this Coco Mademoiselle Lo Privé. So he jumped right on in the bed, you guys. The first thing he said when he got in the bed is, what did you spray? I already knew I had a problem. Because if somebody usually say, what did you spray? That means they don't like it. Now if they say, what are you wearing? But what did you spray? I already knew it was all bad. And honey, I repeat, he asked me, what did I spray? I said, but it's Coco. And he replied, well, it smells like a man's cologne. And you guys, I could not agree with him more. It starts off really beautiful, clean, fresh, citrusy. I really, really, really liked it. But after about a half an hour, this turns masculine. That was the part that I said, no, ma'am. In no way, shape, or form do I want to smell masculine. Now, I do like some unisex perfumes that I actually, had, or fragrances, should I say, because men's fragrances are not perfumes. Well, technically they are. But me personally, I don't want to smell like a man. I do not gravitate towards masculine smelling perfumes. You guys, I'm going to package her back up. Put her right on back in the box because she is going right back to Macy's. 
They say usually when you spray a perfume, you can't return it. But honey, right here, it says clearly on the label from Macy's return label. So yes, you can return them. So this is definitely going back to the store. It was $125 that I will not be keeping. And this is one of these perfumes that I prefer not to wear for myself. It will go to another buyer because it's going back to the store. And someone else will enjoy this night fragrance. But for me, it's a no ma'am. I just cannot. It was just too good to be true. So you already know how this story ends. Back to the store she goes. So that is my thoughts on this Coco Mademoiselle Le Privé. Not my cup of tea. I would not be adding this to my collection. And that's the way that goes. Okay, you guys. So in conclusion, this will definitely be going back to the store so I can discover, discuss, or dismiss another perfume. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you have not subscribed, and be sure to share if you care. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. What? <laughs>